guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over hyaluronic acid supplements for the skin. I'm gonna be covering the research behind taking hyaluronic acid in terms of skin benefits, and I'm gonna be answering your questions about is it good to take hyaluronic acid. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I'm a board certified dermatologist. I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the thumbs up. It really helps my videos out a lot. The nutraceutical field is booming. People are now more than ever motivated to take supplements to not only improve their health, but also to improve the look of their skin. There are a ton of them out there. And as a side note, I do have a video going into the research behind collagen supplements for skin. So make sure you check that out if that's on your mind. But hyaluronic acid is, is up there along with many others. Personally, I don't take hyaluronic acid, but I do love my drinks. And that being said, before I get into the research behind hyaluronic acid for skin, I'd like to thank today's video sponsor, Peak Tea. You guys know I am a longtime fan of their amazing, delicious, high quality teas. If you are not aware, there are so many benefits to your health that come from drinking good quality tea. Tea is packed with antioxidants, nutrients, there's quite a bit of research to suggest that drinking tea can benefit your skin in terms of improving its ability to handle all of those environmental stressors like ultraviolet radiation and pollution. Peak is my favorite brand of tea and I go back to them time and time again because of the quality and the quality and the purity of the ingredients. They have over 20 delicious flavors to choose from and they've gotten tons of awards including from the Global Tea Championship. They have tons of five-star reviews on their website, and I can't say enough good things about them. And the other thing I love about them is I cannot be bothered with a tea bag. I, it's just, you know, is, is time consuming. Their tea crystals uh, dissolve quickly in water so that you don't have to mess around with a tea bag. So I really love that. They use a cutting edge cold extraction technology that locks in the nutrients and antioxidants that are gonna support radiant health. And I love that it dissolves in seconds. There's no sugar, sweeteners, or preservatives. And they also offer a 30 day satisfaction guarantee. So if you're not completely satisfied, you can get your money back. I incorporate their teas multiple times a day actually into my daily routine. Most notably, I love having one of their teas at night as a tea latte. That has been something I've really been enjoying lately. But when I need a little energy pickup or improve focus in the early morning or midday, I reach for the Sun Goddess Matcha. It's got concentrated catechins like EGCG, which support cellular health and protect cells from free radical damage. Uh, Peak actually shades their matcha trees 35% longer, which leads to extra L-theanine. That's a compound that helps promote calmness and reduction in stress. Um, so that you know can ultimately help with things like acne. It's 100% organic and ceremonial grade, and it does not clump. They even screen it for pesticides, heavy metals, toxic mold, and radioactive isotopes. I also love getting in the curcumins from turmeric through their electric turmeric tea. This supports a healthy response to inflammation, and it's made with superior Okinawa turmeric that's fermented for maximum bioavailability. It's blended with complementary Ayurvedic herbs like cinnamon and ginger for enhanced benefit. The Hibiscus Beauty Elixir is gonna be a summer go-to iced, but I have it all the time as a hot tea. Uh, it's packed with vitamin C to support healthy collagen synthesis, which we need for skin hydration and smoothing out wrinkles and plump, bouncy skin. The Ginger Digestion Elixir is perfect after a meal because the ginger helps with digestion and it's packed with anti-inflammatory gingerol. Oh, and a favorite of mine is the Mint Herbal. It's great for freshening your breath and it's packed with spearmint, which is anti-inflammatory. You guys, I know you. many of you have been on the fence about trying them. You see me have them in my vlogs and you know that's piqued your interest. Uh, so definitely take advantage of the link in my description box because I was able to snag 5% off your first order. So take advantage of it because they hardly ever offer discounts. All right, what is hyaluronic acid? It's a biopolymer and it's found throughout the body. Um, it's all throughout your skin, but it's also in your joints. It lubricates the joints. It's found in the heart valves. I mean, pretty much every tissue throughout the body. And it binds onto water, so it helps keep your skin hydrated. It gives the skin kind of a bouncy, glowy look, smooths out wrinkles. 
We start losing both hyaluronic acid and collagen in our skin as we get older because not only related to age-related change, but due to all of those external environmental stressors that generate those free radicals that damage collagen and weaken the skin overall, that ultimately is what leads to wrinkles and a com compromised uh, skin barrier function. For example, at the age of 75, you're gonna have about a quarter of the quantity of hyaluronic acid in your skin that you had when you were 19. Hyaluronic acid is most well known for its water binding ability. It can bind a thousand times its weight in water. You will find hyaluronic acid in tons of skincare products, which I've covered here on this channel before. Serums, toners, moisturizing creams, lotions, even sunscreens often will have hyaluronic acid or it's salt, sodium hyaluronate actually, and it's the same thing. Um, and when you apply it to the skin, it holds onto water in the skin and that can have a wrinkle smoothing effect, but it's temporary. So people are motivated to ingest it in the hopes of enhancing hydration in the skin, smoothing out wrinkles and plumping up the skin. But how exactly would hyaluronic acid get into the skin? Is that even possible? Wouldn't it just be completely, you know, digested in your intestines and your stomach. Um, there actually is some there actually are some studies that suggest that hyaluronic acid supplementation or dietary hyaluronic acid can uh, be taken up um, from the digestive tract and localized to the skin. A lot of these studies, however, are done in laboratory models and in mouse models. So be aware of that. You know, we're not cells in a dish. We're not uh, laboratory animals, we are people. These lab-based studies suggest that dietary hyaluronic acid, um, may its absorption may be influenced by its molecular weight. For example, lab studies looking at monolayers of intestinal cells in a dish show that small molecular weight hyaluronic acid can pass between the cells. And there are some studies in lab animals that are able to late where they're able to label the hyaluronic acid and um, show that it localizes after ingestion to the skin, to the deeper layers of the skin, where presumably it's going to help with hydration and plump up the skin. The, the studies that we have on dietary hyaluronic acid are not just restricted to cells in a dish and lab animals. There are a few studies in humans that suggest potential benefit of dietary hyaluronic acid supplements. A lot of these studies have been done in Japan or Korea. I think it's been you know, something of interest there. And specifically, a lot of them have been done with a brand of hyaluronic acid. It's actually Kewpie, um, which I don't know, isn't that the same company that makes that Japanese mayonnaise that you can get on Amazon? I, I assume that they are the same company. Anyways, um, a lot of these studies use a particular hyaluronic acid supplement from that company. There's a study of 52 Korean women age 30 that took uh, 12, 240 milligrams per day of hyaluronic acid with a molecular weight of 75,000. They took it for eight weeks and the hyaluronic acid group had fewer wrinkles than the control group who didn't take hyaluronic acid at the end of the eight weeks, uh, suggesting improvement in wrinkles. Uh, there's also another study looking at 28 Japanese women aged 30 to 49 who had crow's feet, and they took same dose, 240 milligrams per day of hyaluronic acid. This time, the hyaluronic acid was smaller. They took it for eight weeks, and at the end of the eight weeks, it showed a decrease in wrinkle depth of crow's feet in comparison to the control group, suggesting, again, improvement in wrinkles. And then last but not least, there's a study that actually wanted to look at if there's any difference between smaller versus larger molecular weight. This time, 120 milligrams per day, this time for 12 weeks instead of eight. And truthfully, at the end of the study, while they did show that those taking the hyaluronic acid supplements had an improvement in wrinkles, smoother skin in comparison to placebo, it did not seem as though there was really any difference between the different molecular weights. There are also some studies of dietary hyaluronic acid supplements that suggest improvement in skin dryness. So if you cope with a lot of dry skin, that makes sense, you know, hyaluronic acid helps with skin hydration, that a, a supplement, if it actually does work, may help. There's still a lot of gaps in research though. We don't really know what the optimal dose is, and these studies are pretty small, so it'd be nice to have larger randomized controlled trials of supplements. There's some variation in terms of the size and the 
amount between the different studies, so it's hard to compare the two as far as looking at any one particular outcome uh, and the duration. But suffice it to say, these studies do suggest that dietary hyaluronic acid uh, is safe to ingest. There are no adverse effects associated with it. So if you wanna take one, seems low risk. Um, and it does suggest that there is improvement not only in wrinkles, but in dry skin with a hyaluronic acid supplement. Because hyaluronic acid is a polysaccharide, another potential presumed benefit of ingesting hyaluronic acid is that maybe it may help improve the gut microbiome. And there is an intimate connection between the gut microbiome and the cutaneous microbiome. And a lot of times uh, skin health is a reflection of gut health. So part of the benefit and you know, subjective benefit of taking hyaluronic acid could potentially be related to the gut microbiome. It's nice that we do have some studies, A, showing that it's safe, and B, showing you know, decrease in wrinkle depth, although the studies are small and limited. Um, however, you know, bear in mind that a lot of what you probably are hearing and it being hyped up is largely going to be anecdotal. So it's just you know, kind of hard to say whether or not what one person observes is gonna be applicable to other groups of people. One thing too uh, about a lot of the hyaluronic acid supplements on the market is that they have other ingredients in them. I don't, th th these particular studies I'm mentioning are looking just at hyaluronic acid, so we isolate that. But other supplements that you find like, that, you know, I was just scrolling on my, on iHerb uh, looking at the hyaluronic acid supplements. Many of them have other ingredients that could also, you know, be beneficial for the skin, things like um, vitamin C, um, collagen. Again, I, I've talked to you guys before about the studies on collagen for wrinkle smoothing. So it's possible that you know you would see a benefit from those supplements that maybe isn't even related to the hyaluronic acid. Uh, that's what I can tell you guys about it. It does appear to be safe, but honestly, you know, focus on a balanced diet, um, getting your fruits and vegetables in, having fiber in the diet is really important ideally from whole food sources, um, you know, limiting your sugar. You know that sugary refined carbohydrates uh, can contribute to age-related change in the skin by the formation of those advanced glycation end products. Um, the collagen, that can generate a lot of free radical damage down in the skin and lead to prominent wrinkles. So be mindful of your sugar consumption. Whatever benefit that you see with a supplement, you're going to have to continue to take it uh, long-term to maintain that. It's likely going to take some time before you start noticing results uh, if you do take one. So uh, you know nothing works overnight in the skin. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I personally you know, don't take hyaluronic acid supplements. So for me, you know, I just, would not be compelled to take a supplement. Uh, instead, I, you know, I think it's better to get uh, your nutrients, building blocks for healthy skin from whole food sources in your diet. Um, and but you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't appear to be harmful, and it may improve the look of wrinkles, fine lines, and improve dry skin, which you know is something that you also deal with a lot as you get wiser because the skin's not making as many oils, as many moisturizing factors. Your skin is more prone to dryness. And as a result, it's more prone to irritation. So I can see the appeal of it. And like I said, it appears to be safe um, that we know of. Uh, if you take other medications, always clear these things with your treating healthcare provider. You know, I, get, I can think of how even though this is safe, you could make the argument, well, is it gonna affect the absorption of other medications? You know, hard to say. So definitely check in with your doctor before considering taking any supplement. All right, guys, that's what I can tell you about hyaluronic acid supplements for the skin. I hope this was helpful to you. Definitely check out Peak Tea and take advantage of my discount code to get 5% off. Love them, best quality, best purity, packed with nutrients, antioxidants for healthy, radiant skin. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, bye.